yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah. L A B B, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. State your name. First one is jumping jacks, so you gotta go 50 in jumping jacks. So 50 of those. Um, then we've got um, some scare jumps, so scare jumps each step equals one jump, so one, two, three, four, five, and you go to 50. Um, we've got bomb climbers, so each time you drive in the end to your chest, that equals one. So one, two, three, and you go to 50. Um, and the last one is drop squats, so start off here, drop, in, drop, and you go to 50. So you see the back remains completely straight, you're not bending over, chest out, and take the butt down to the ground. So you've got to do 50 of those. Um, once you've done 50 of each, then you will drop down to 40 of each, and then 30 of each, 20 of each, 10 of each, and then you're down to 10, basically. After you're done with that, then your next two variations are the bobby. So the bobby is going to be completely flat, set that, and up. That is one. So you've got to do 10 of those. And then your pedal dumbbells and disease presses. So sit completely flat, dumbbells in here, 10 of the Z presses. So force your knees into the ground, keep your leg completely straight, back upright, and up. You've got to complete 10 rounds of these, so 10 burpees and 10 Z-presses, and you will do 10 rounds in total, which equals 100 repetitions. And the total of your first bit and second bit equals to your total time. So I think it's going to be total, I'm going to try it. Uh, I hope you like it. So give it a go. See you guys on the other side. This is me, 20, 23 minutes after the session. Um, it's pretty good, short and, short and intense. Um, the entire point of the workout is you do the initial bit of the cardio work and some uh, plyometric work for your legs, whether you have the jumping squats or the drop squats. Uh, and that really ties your legs up. So when you're into the burpees, your legs are already into pre-fatigue state, so you start using your upper body a lot more. And then you superset that with the C-presses, which really emphasizes your fatigue state of your upper body and your shoulders now, because you use that for the push-ups and the burpee. Um, and it's just, you start to reach failure a little bit quicker, so it's not only a concept of you uh, burning calories, but also muscle building is because there's a lot of tension on the muscles while you're doing the Z-presses in a fatigue state. You've got to push that much more and you're that much more closer to failure. One thing I will say is though, be real aware that you always want quantity of the moments and not quality. So you're chasing time, but you shouldn't hurt yourself because you want to train for a longer time and just not chase the time. And you may get a faster time, but you may hurt yourself in the process. So be very aware while doing that in training sessions like these, uh, but definitely a good one. Uh, 23 minutes and I feel like I've had a good session for today um, so yeah, I hope you like it give it a try uh, scale the dumbbell to to what you feel like I use 10 kgs there uh, so if you want to go lighter go lighter and if you haven't done Z presses before then I'd, I'd uh, recommend go lighter because you definitely be in a in a fatigue state so um, and if you can go heavier by all means go heavier but make sure that it's quality moments over quantity moments so um, give it a go it's a good one i will see you guys soon